Hi, this is Sarah May, the ectotherm care specialist here at the Cook Museum. I wanted to talk to you guys about our honeypot ant colony here in the wonderful world of insects. It's one I'm sure you've seen as you're walking by, but there are a lot of different characteristics of the ants and their behavior that I want to share with you guys. So first of all, you'll see two different areas here that they're displayed in. On the right side, you have the foraging area, and that's where we put in their food dish, which will have different fruits in there. Today we put an apple with honey on top, and then we give them a protein source as well. So they have dog food and frozen crickets, and so they like that combination of sugar and protein. You'll see the worker ants foraging around here and gathering up food, and they'll take that food down through the hole in the pile on the left, and they'll come over to the nest area. And in the nest area, you're going to see a lot of ants down here. Up on the wall there, you'll see a lot of what's called the repletes. These are the ants that their job in the colony is to store food. And so if there's a drought in their native area in the southwest of the U.S. or down in Mexico, they'll store up that food that the worker ants give them. So then if they don't have food that they can go out and forage, they'll come over to these repletes. And what the worker ants will do is they'll just tap on the repletes with their antenna and those ants will regurgitate the food through a process called trophallaxis and they'll feed the colony through that. Also on the right side you can see the queen ant. She is just a little bit bigger than the other ants there and she just hangs out on the wall there. What she does in the colony is she'll lay eggs and those eggs will hash out into the worker ants and then the worker ants can turn into repletes. And then down at the bottom of the nest area here what you'll see lined up against the glass there, that's their pupa. So after the eggs hatch out into the larva, then they'll get fed and fed and fed, and then they'll turn into pupa that will just sit there up against the glass, and then the pupa hatch out into the ants. So there's a little bit about the life cycle of these ants. So when you're in here at the Cook Museum next time, I hope you'll take a closer look and see all those different life cycles of these amazing creatures. These were kindly provided to us by Isaac's Ant Foundation. Wonderful people over there came and built and donated these ants to us. So I hope to see you soon at the Cook Museum.